Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, well, take a seat, get comfortable. This is Arietta of Spirits. This is our second episode and uh, first of our first look um, into this demo version of a pixelated game. The last time we left off, um, Arietta had been uh, woken up in the middle of the night and she was taken into some kind of spirit realm, it looked like, or it could have been she was dreaming, but she met someone at the end of this dream or when she woke up or or when she was um, when she came out of the spirit realm. And they were she was told that she needed to go to um, meet her. And we didn't know who her was. So let's get back in the game and find out, shall we? Um, if I remember correctly, the uh, <laughs> the yeah, there we go. It's all on keyboard. Okay, so here we go. I think we're starting off where we left off. Arco is his name or her name. I don't know who Arco is. She's waiting for you in the pier. Okay. It's dark outside. There's a the fox looking animal telling us to go to the pier at night. Mm. Warning signs. Here's the pier. Didn't I just say, I hope it's not grandma. Grandma is here. Grandma? Arietta, darling. Grandma! But how? How? You. you the, the, there was a. You're. you're dead? I'm quite aware of it, dear. Now, don't be too sad for me. It was just my time to go. Death is an inevitable part of life, and I've already made my peace with it many years back. Living as old as I have, and you start to reflect on things. It's my grandma voice. <laughs> grandma... It's because of your new friend that we got to meet once again. That, um, strange looking thing. Arco. It's Arco. A R C O. And who are you calling strange looking? Grandma, why are you here? Shouldn't you be. Yeah, right? I haven't been able to move on just yet. You see, I have a promise to keep. For your mother. Oh. Over a decade ago, I promised to leave her our old family ring, just like my mother once gave it to me. Your silver ring? That's right. The silver is from the very same mine that's located on this island. It has been in the family for ages. During my last days here, it was lost, and I didn't have the chance to come back for it. Until now. I searched high and low and finally managed to find it. Just lying on the ground at the Forsyth Spring. Place is dangerous. <laughs> no idea how it got all the way up there. Me either, but it's not good. Probably not. Yet, as soon as I reached my hand out in an attempt to pick it up, these terrible beings came out of nowhere and surrounded me. I told you that place was dangerous. <laughs> I was so frightened that I ran back here and left the ring right where I had found it. Let me guess, I'm going to have to go get the ring. And it was then I met Arco. Those awful monsters must have been after the ring, too. Hmm. I might have an idea of those so-called monsters actually were. It's uncommon that they would react like that. 
to a ring, though, or any object for that matter. Why am I talking like Captain Kirk? <laughs> I'm telling you, they came straight for it. But thank heavens for that, since I managed to slip past while they were distracted. Maybe we should go and see if it's still there. Okay, that's good. <laughs> If what you think is true, I'm interested in seeing this ring myself. So, for a whole year, you've been here? A year? What are you talking about? I've only been here for a little while. I, I, I think... Yeah, she doesn't want to tell her. Oh, don't worry, Grandma. We'll get that ring back. I don't want to get you in any trouble over me. But you just... Don't worry. I have Arco here to protect me. How do you know Arco's going to protect you? <laughs> I mean, you're putting a lot on Arco. We'll be back before you know it. Arco, let's go. Arco's like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> Please, just be careful. So Grandma's just going to hang out by the pier now. Okay. Let me see if I can remember these. Um, okay. And then we've got a roll. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should head east and find Grandma's ring. Oh, okay. You heading east. This is east. Gotcha. Do we have any potions or anything? Or are we just relying on... What's here? All right. Well, there's nothing in these bushes. Heading east. Um, Southeast, you mean? Oh, wait a minute. Duh. Yeah. See? Path cleared. Oh, I hate to see what's in here. Arco's not here. I don't see Arco. That's why Arco was like, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Listen. I wasn't ready for the bats. I wasn't ready for the gliding bats. Oh, they're tougher. Um, so we just need to be sure we, um, watch out for moving trees. Um, okay, we've got bees and wasps, or bees and wasps. We've got bats and wasps. Gotcha. Wonder what else is in here. So, oh, fiery wasp. So far, I mean, so far, besides the bat, um, everything seems pretty normal. I hope, I wonder if we're going to get a new attack. Just oh, we've got two bees have appeared. Oh, the wasps, the wasps are pretty, um, tame, so I can handle those. I don't know if there's like a, um, oh, I was going to say a, like a hard attack, hard attack, like a stronger attack. Oops. Point that thing at me. All right. So it's saved. Let's see what's down here. Not much to look at. I guess I should be chopping these down, right? Because there might be hearts in them. I just completely forgot about the... The, whoa, okay, we were not prepared for all of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get rid of the easy thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. That wasn't good because everything's respawned. Yep, everything. Oh, yep, 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 yep. We're about to die. Woo! That was close. 
excuse me. Yes, lucky, lucky, unless the game knows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, let me throw a couple of hearts at her because she's going to die in the demo. And that would just be embarrassing now, wouldn't it? Now, which way do we need to go? Okay, this must be the way. This must be the way because of danger. Danger. Danger, real, real Robinson. What's down here? Oh, another fiery? Or is it fiery? It's fiery. Feisty. 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 What's over here? Give me some hearts, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go this way. Because this is a circle. Okay, so the game is a little linear, and that's fine because, um, ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Love it. We got. Um, oh, what is. See, now what is that? That. Oh. I'm up to your games. I'm up to your games. I understand what you. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Your little nosedive is dangerous. So far, I'm really enjoying the game. Um, I think I've said this before, the combat is a little repetitive, but um, this could be easily solved, I'm sure, as you progress through the game. Maybe you learn new attacks, maybe you get a better sword. Um, it's like Zelda, the sword, your attacks um, improve with the sword. So um, that's what I'm looking for, especially if we're looking for Grandma's Ring. So I expect that we're going to get um ha or get encounter a boss fight um did we go this way yep i guess so to get grandma's ring back um maybe arco will help us because i don't see arco anywhere arco was like yeah i'm out <laughs> oh God. speaking of arco wait before we head deeper into the forest there's something you should know what? What is it? The echoes of those who once lived are not the only inhabitants of the spirit realm. And I'm not talking about my kind either. There actually exists many different types in uh, ethereal entities. Mm. Some of them friendly, even helpful in some ways, albeit rare. Great. But then there are the malevolent kind. We call them roamers. Is that what we saw before? They are a vile race, constantly moving from one place to another, seeking to absorb in energy from anything they come across and attempt to grow in power. And as a bound, you will be their target now too, I'm afraid. The roamers use the energy they absorb to multiply themselves. And that's why their numbers are constantly rising. Like a disease spreading through their spirit realm, soon affecting everyone. Oh. One of our most important tasks has always been to keep them at bay. Let me turn this off. I thought I did. Always the wrong time. I had no idea. So these roamers are the monsters that Grandma was talking about? They are now all over the forest? Any way to defend against them? Hold out your hands. Oh, new ability. When they come after us, your wooden toy will be completely useless against them new weapon <laughs> Arco Yes 
We got a silver blue sword. Another sword. Come on, another sword. <laughs> You're ungrateful, Arietta. She's probably like, can I get a ranged attack? <laughs> Trust me, this is the best weapon for the job. And it's not just any sword. It's actually really quite special. Oh, do tell. It's what we call a conduit. Oh. Conduits are special artifacts that function as links between the realms, connecting every level of ex existence to another. And that makes it possible for me to direct my energy through it. Oh, to enhance every strike you make with it. Any roamer unfortunate enough to get caught in the blade's way will most definitely feel it. Conduits are hard to come by, so take good care of it. And roamers are always looking to get their hands on one. Okay. I've seen you swing a sword many times before. Wooden or not, you are more than capable of handling yourself with it. Are we playing the same game, Marco? <laughs> Have you not seen me? Well, yeah, but swatting a couple of angry wasps is different. It's a different thing. Yeah, tell me about it. You need to trust yourself more. Give it a try. Okay. Okay. Here goes. Right. Totally, Zelda. You have received a spirit sword. Now you have the means to defend yourself against the roamers. She's even dressed in Link's clothing. I just realized that green. Hmm. Nice. I know you want to help your grandmother, no matter what it takes. Remember, Arietta, we're in this together. If I have to find some kind of Triforce, <laughs> like the Tri-Rings, the only way for us to stand up to them is combine over strengths. So make that sword swing and I'll make sure everything hit. Everything hit. Oh, I'll make sure everything hit at lands counts. Oh, okay. I'll make sure every hit it lands counts. <laughs> Why did that sound is probably my me reading, right? Yeah. My cadence was off in that sentence, sorry. And please call me Ari. Oh, see, Ari, she knows. She knows. She knows. She likes our nickname we gave her, guys. All right, Ari, let's go. So let's just swing that sword. All right. So. Okay, now we're getting a little airy now. Airy Ari. With the, what the yankety yak is, oh, that must be the roamers. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, let's get full health going. Okay, we're stuck, we're stuck. I like the music. Was there anything down here? I mean, I guess we don't really need to go down here, do we? Let's just go forward. Okay, there's nothing over here. Um, Ari, move, girl. Oh, so we can attack them in mid. Um, oh. nice move, girl. All right, so <laughs> trail. Okay, trail. Runner. I was really um. <laughs> calling that trailblazer for some reason. I was about to call it that. Um, I really like the music of this game. Oh, jeez. We got two. We got two. We have two trail roamers. Nice. I wonder if that trail... Um, A wild wasp appears. Nice. Oh. Brandy, what are you doing, girlfriend? I'm getting a little tough. Oops. 
Let's just run right into them, shall we? Right. Where's that other one? Is he gone? Did we get him? We must have gotten him. Okay, this being the demo. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting hearts. Um quite often. I wonder if that's going to be the case in um the release. Maybe they don't want you to die. And I also wonder what happens when you do. Whoa, there's another bat. Um I'm not complaining. I'm just wondering um, if that's going to be the case. I, it seems to be a pretty good. Uh, I guess if it's any harder than that, like if it's a rare to get a heart, then that would be just kind of annoying. So there's no other way of regaining life back. Um, beating, um, getting that record here. Okay. But I'm wondering, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like bumper cars. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, this is annoying. Right. Narrow, very narrow. Okay, so the the um I don't know if I got too close to the trailblazer <laughs> the trailblazer the trail roamer or if um the black inky stuff that <clears throat> he emits is harmful. Can we go across a lot? Awesome. Oh, look how pretty. Ah, this denotes a boss. What is that? Are you benevolent? Please be benevolent. Hi, friend. Midri. Okay, you look sweet. Lots of roamers out tonight, don't you think? Not safe. Not safe at all. You better get inside while you still can. Something ominous is in the air. Tell me about it. Wait, you're, you're a bound, aren't you? I, uh, I guess. Great. Tell you what, come and find me tomorrow and we'll do some business. You and me. The name's Midri, by the way. Thank you, Midri. Nice to meet you. I'm Ari. Oh, but now I gotta scoot. Well, Midri, can you come help? Oh, Midri, don't let me hear my man lonesome. Certainly not safe here tonight. Are you just gonna leave me? What? What was that all about? That was a Midi Midiarian? One of the ethereal races that inhabit the spirit realm. They are friendly entities who work as sort of merchants in the realm. Cool. They are completely harmless and actually very helpful. They deal with anything, but just like me, lack the physical bodies needed to acquire anything by themselves. So they use bounds as mediums to bring them whatever they might want at the moment. And it's usually well worth it. We should definitely track them down once we get the chance. Okay. And just when I thought this night couldn't get any weirder. Tell me about it. Okay. Let's push on. Shall we? Yes. Almost full hearts. Can I save at any point? No. So I've got to see this thing throw. Oh. Oh. Um. Whoa. 
Would be nice to have an AoE attack. Okay. I think I'm more worried about the bats than um, these things because of their nosedive attack. Yeah, see that right there. But I can interrupt that. I'm just not fast enough. I just have to learn to time it right. Um, okay, let me, no, can't go that way. Okay, well, the hearts isn't so bad. I can save. Oh, it's automatically saving here. This has to be a boss fight. Hold on for just a second. Look. There's the ring. See it? There's something shining on the ground. Oh, great. This is the boss fight. That's Grandma's ring. Just like she said. And no roamers in sight, girl. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's grab it while we can. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it seems odd. Why would they just leave? Maybe Grandma got, got it wrong and they weren't after the ring. Ari, I hope you're not. No, Ari. Please don't, please don't be this stupid, Ari. Please. Huh? Ari hasn't seen enough video games. Or series of games. Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> this is totally so... What is that? Thank you. Uh, it's a one huge roamer. I can tell you that much. Thank you, Arco. You're just full of knowledge. <laughs> Oh no. It's absorbing energy through the ring. Oh, this is bad. Oh, tell me about it. It, it can do that? Yep. No time to explain. Ari, what we do is your choice. If we leave now, it'll only get stronger and it starts multiplying. Well, then we have to kill it. But I'm afraid it might be way out of your, our league already. Okay. This is definitely not the way I planned this night to play out. Well, I wasn't expecting this either. You know, I was expecting to go to sleep, wake up, do some chores. You know, that kind of thing. You make the call. Given the circumstances, retreat is as good plan, as good a plan as any. That should be that. Okay, well... Yeah, but risk losing the ring? Oh boy, here we go. I was hoping she'd retreat, but... No way. She's braver than I am. Let's <laughs> trust yourself more, right? Right, Ari, you're right. Okay. We are taking it down. Yes, we're taking it down, Ari. Oh, he's, he looks, he looks bad. Ari, Ari, move it, move it, girl. Oh, okay, let me guess. We're gonna have to poke him in his eye, aren't we? Something like that. Okay, oh, okay, when he's like in that state. Gotcha, so we're gonna have to do kite. Oh, he's got friends. He's got friends. I knew this would be too easy. Well, at least he only takes one hit. Now, I wonder if we'll get new hearts. So he's going to jump around. He's going to spit out new enemies or enemies or ads. And um, probably every... I wonder if I get more than... Okay, so three hits and he's down. He's not so bad. Twice. Can't hit him twice. It's just the dance. The pattern down. It's like every other Zelda game. He's almost dead. Is he gonna get mad though? Oh, okay. Sorry, don't be stupid, girl. Oh, you guys. 
guys. Oh, you guys. I got stupid. I got stupid. Okay, so you have to get these guys down. Otherwise, he... Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Restart bat boss fight or load from checkpoint. Well, I've actually gone over my time. So we're going to go ahead and load from a checkpoint later. So I have the fight down. I know what I'm doing. I just need to make sure I get the ads down. And then Bob's your uncle. All right, guys. I do thank you for joining me for another episode of Ari. <laughs> of Ari. Of Arietta of the Spirit Realm. Um, a realm of spirits or whatever. I really, really appreciate you guys stopping by. This is fun. I actually could get into this. Um, let me know what you guys think about the game so far in the comments below. I'd really like to hear from you. Um, I'm definitely going to give you guys my thoughts uh, later on. And I still have to give you my thoughts, my final thoughts on Kinseed as well. So be looking out for that. Um, definitely um, stop by again. I hope to see you soon. If you're not a member, please subscribe. I'd love to see you again here. And until next time, guys, ciao.